If your PowerForce compact vacuum has no or low suction, here are some tips to get the problem fixed. Be sure your vacuum is turned off and unplugged before performing any maintenance. Before you begin, you will need a Phillips screwdriver. Start by checking the hose for any cracks, holes, or clogs. Remove the hose by pulling one end out of the base and turning the other end counterclockwise and out. Use a broomstick handle to push and clear any potential clogs out of the hose. Reconnect the hose to the vacuum. Make sure the hose is secure in the foot suction opening. Check if there is a clog in the machine. Remove the tank and check the suction inlet for any debris. Locate the filter and make sure it is clean. With the machine unplugged, lay the vacuum back to expose the brush roll. Remove the five screws from the brush cover using your Phillips screwdriver. Then lift the cover off the vacuum. Grasp the floor brush at both ends to lift out. Clear any debris on the brush roll or in the brush housing area and empty into a trash bin. Then check the foot hose on the back of the machine towards the bottom. You can straighten the hose by pressing the recline pedal down until the foot releases. If there is a clog, you can remove it with a broomstick. To inspect the brush roll, set it on its end and spin it by flicking it once. If it doesn't spin freely, it's time to replace your brush roll. Inspect your belt. If it is broken or damaged, it will need to be replaced. Place the new belt over the motor pulley and stretch the other end over the brush roll. Line up the end caps and pull the brush forward into place. When the brush roll is in, turn it to align the belt. Replace the bottom cover by reinserting the five screws using your Phillips screwdriver. We hope these remedies bring you suction back to your PowerForce Compact.